to them, <laughs> I teamed with Nicolas Cage to steal the Declaration of Independence. Ah, adventures. Yep. <sighs> Still that way. Mood of Ritmorian, next to the planet of Traxia. <sighs> Never realized just how large the universe was. Oh, I haven't even seen it all. It's always expanding. Wait, where's it expanding to? I don't know. Anyway, so is this what you do? Just run around and see the sights? <laughs> well, on a good day. I save people. If there's trouble, I'm there to help. I've starved bloodthirsty aliens, robot invasion. Um, the rest of the time space continuum. I've just about done it all. It's incredible. Yep, it is. And just about five light years up there, my home planet, Gallifrey. Why did you leave? I got bored. Wanted to see the stars. Politics are pretty bad too. Well, you've got to take me there sometime. Oh, I don't know about that. Gallifrey's gone. I'm the last one. The last one? Like, the last of your kind? Yep. <sighs> That's okay, I've got you now. So, where'd you get that blue box? Well, I stole her. And she stole me. We've been running ever since. She? Yep, she has a mind of her own. Okay. So, where are we anyway? I think the question is, when are we? Uh... Planet Zortak, Sector 15, May 3rd, 2134. Wait, this is the future? Yep. So what are we doing here? Let's have a look around. Good idea. Let's see what we can find. Come on, see what we can find. Oh, uh, new Sonic. Excuse me, I'm in the middle of something. 
Fine, fine. Hello? Hello, my name is Daryl Henry. I'm the principal of a local school. Anyway, there have been some strange going on, goings on. How did you get this number? Uh, one of the guys from Unit gave it to me. They said you could help. Yeah, Unit, of course. Um, yeah, I'll be right over, I suppose. Don't you need the address? Uh, got it. Bye. So what was that about? Uh, some school needs us. Something stupid like that. Well, I wouldn't mind. I'm quite ready for some adventure around here. Yeah, I suppose. Aha! Is it working? Well, I suppose we'll just have to test it out. Anyways, there's a school that needs us. There's some mysterious sightings. Aliens? Most likely. But we'll just have to find out, won't we? Suppose so. Tracking the phone call back. Might want to watch out. Tell me who. Let's go. <laughs> The Academy. Academy? You went to school? Well, yes, uh, I went to the Time Lord Academy on Gallifrey. So is that where you got so knowledgeable? Well, <laughs> learn at school? No, of course not. Uh, That's where I learned my evasive skills. But of course. Come on. This works like a charm. You must be the guy Unit sent. Yes, I'm the doctor. Doctor who? Just the doctor. How'd you get here so fast? I literally hung up, hung up on the phone with you. Like not even. You must ask too many questions. What? He's a bit mad, but he's also really smart. You should trust him. I'm sure he can solve this. With your help, of course. So what's the problem? I have no idea. Let me let me get my caretaker. Hey Calvin, get your butt down here! What do you want? The man from the unit is here! Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming! <laughs> Doctor Lily. Meet our, meet our caretaker, Calvin the Klutz. Hello there, um, I would introduce myself, but I already did and I'm bored, so what's the problem? Call me the doctor, by the way. Well, you see, there's something in this building. Well, there's lots of things in this building. Give me specifics. Oh, okay, I'll just tell you the whole story. Well, just the other day, I was doing my normal job cleaning the school. That's horrible. I remembered that I forgot to clean one room. So I was gonna go clean it when suddenly the lights went out. I figured we just forgot to pay the electric bill. Anyway, I went to clean the room. But when I got to the door, a bright light shined through the window and through the crack in the door. Suddenly the door creaked open and I ran down the hallway. I looked back and saw some kind of creature crawling across the hallway. And then I fell down the stairs and broke my ankle. And... And uh, did you want to sign my case? No, I don't want to sign it. What happened next? I called my boss, he called you. I haven't seen it since. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, yes, uh, can you show us the room? Oh, sure. It's over this way. Come on. 
I'd love to stick around and have some fun with Calvin, but I got students to interrogate, so I'll see you guys. Hey, wait up! Get faster! Hurry up, Calvin. Is this it? Yep, one with the monster. Yeah, this is the barricade I put up. Do you like it? The door with the, with the light, right? Come to think of it, I could have just locked the door, couldn't I? Really? Yes, you should have. Um, seems pretty normal to me. One second. Got lots of things. Shit. Well, seems normal, but have a look. Shall we? Calvin, get it together, mate. Anything? Everything seems normal-ish. Ah, uh, you said you saw a light. Oh, yeah, positive. Hmm. Ah. Doctor, what is it? That's it, it's a crack. A what? Well, a crack in time. Basically, you take time, and if you bend it or stretch it, manipulate it enough, it can tear. And when it tears, things can travel through the tear like a portal. Excuse me? Or they're erased from time entirely, but that's thing. Oh, maybe we can track where the rift was. Oh, is that, hey, is that one of those things from Star Trek? No, it's, it's a tool, Calvin. A sonic screwdriver, to be exact. I don't remember seeing one of those in Star Wars. Aha! What I is got something. I picked up the trace. Well, what's left of it. Um, the portal, or rift, appears to have closed. Or moved. Maybe we can follow it. What's all this talk about crack? You wouldn't understand. Come on. I happen to have experience in the field, mind you. Now what are you doing? I'm trying to trace the rift, you know, figure out where it is now. Huh. What was that? Find out soon, get off me. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Calvin, you don't just kill everything. You're worse than Miss Quill, and she was the teacher. Wait, what? I'll explain later. Hello! Listen, I mean you no harm. I want to help you. I miss the old guy. I can help you. What do we have here? This is the school library. Come on, let me put on my reading glasses. Here we go. It's small. 
Yeah, they are pretty small, but they aren't my prescription either, so. I meant the school. Oh, I wouldn't know. I don't actually clean the place. Ooh, I'm in this one. What? Bill Murray. Ah, uh, doctor? What? It's Gretchen! What? What do you want? Why are you here? You are a Time Lord. How did you know that? You are the last of your kind. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. What are you? Alone. Listen, I'm here to help. If you just listen to me, I can help you find your new home. I just killed you already. Listen, you're not the only one who's been alone. Trust me, just let me help you. We can work this out. The power of Christ compels you! Yes! Well, aren't you just the most heroic and greatest man alive? No, you idiot! You messed it up, come on! I was getting somewhere. Why can't we just call an exterminator? Killing is not an option. Now we gotta start all over because Calvin messed it up. Come on, get your glasses. Oh, you sure you're not talking about a different Calvin? What do we have here? Looks like a brief that the creature came through. Wonder what's on the other side. Be careful of those portal things, though. Well, why? Where does it lead? Never know. They're very unstable. So, you're saying that each portal could end up somewhere new? Well, that's the idea. Hey! What did I miss? Nothing? Oh, okay. Well, now that we found your girlfriend, what are we going to do about Gretchen? Well, considering you scared her off, got to find her again. Come on, stay close to me. I don't know why they're filming Star Trek here anyways. I know you're here, somewhere. You lied to me. Listen, that wasn't me. I want to help you. It was that one. What are you putting at me for? You are the one who attacked me. <laughs> Get off of him! Get off of him! We can talk this out! Let go of him! I'll be back! Now what are we gonna do? Well, it seems like she just wants to fight, so... I don't know. Got an idea. Hello! I know you're there. There you are. Before you attack me, before you run away, listen to me for just one minute. I I tried to help you. Did you listen? No. I tried to be good. I tried. To help you. you. Didn't accept me. This is your last chance. Listen, you know I'm a time lord. I don't know how but you do. I'm ancient, full of knowledge. I've been around throughout time. I'm a helper, a healer. I save people. I'm the doctor. And you can either let me help you. We can go back to where you came from. What? That's what. Is it gone? Yep, it's gone. We did it. 
thanks to uh, the portal. How did you do that? Um, well, I actually didn't do anything for once. The universe decided to work on our side. I'm not complaining. Well, thanks for your entertainment, Calvin. We'll see you later. Come on, Lily. I've got other things to do. Wait! What are you gonna do now? Well, the portals are very unstable. So they could pop up anywhere at any time. I'll have to keep an eye on them. I see. Thank you for your help, Doctor. You're welcome, Calvin. What's this? That's my number. If you need anything, call me. Well, thank you, but, um, I... Let's be real, Calvin. You would be the last person I would call for help. See ya. Farewell. Perhaps we shall meet again. Bye. Oh no! Where will I sleep? Doctor! Lily! Lily! Goodbye, old girl. I'll be back soon. Hopefully. What are you doing? What? I, I'm going after her. Are you sure that's a good idea? I, I, I mean, you said it yourself. You have no idea what's on the other side of that thing. Calvin, uh, have you ever had someone that meant the world to you? And when you do anything to save them, to protect them? No! Have you been paying attention to anything I ever told you? Uh, Calvin, get it together, mate. <sighs> Wish me luck. Oh, what's this? Your telephone box? Don't touch that. Oh, sorry. Uh, good luck, my friend. Thanks, but we're not friends, Calvin. <sighs> Holy ho. Well, I tried. <laughs> well, uh... Might as well look after it while he's gone. <laughs> oh, this thing looks bigger on the outside. <laughs>